this is the frog that Sir Jamie Lannister rode into battle. Uh, as you can see, it's a good frog. Uh, and this is the bank where Arya got some money out to travel to Bravos. And spotted in the wild, one of Daenerys' dragons. Hi everybody, we are in Fair Girona, where we set our scene. Uh, we're currently uh, doing a uh, little Game of Thrones walking tour. I'll put the link down below if you want to follow it. I found this blog post which is really good. Um, and we're about to go to Old Town and see the Sept of Baelor. We've got scenes from King's Landing, the bit when Arya fights the wave, and it's going to be really good. Okay, so we're coming towards the Citadel. Um, this is part of Old Town where Sam and Gilly uh, came to go visit the Maesters and oh, thought I was about to get run over. Um, and anyway, yeah, this is that. How cute. And this is the surrounding area. Um, I think this is actually now uh, an archaeology... No, is it? I can't read the sign from here in the sun. Um, an archaeology museum, maybe? Okay, so this is the back of um, Old Town now um, where I just showed you and we're coming into the gardens and look at this. How beautiful. Um, it's the kind of ponds and the gardens. And next we're gonna go see where are your film to theater scenes, which should be pretty cool. Have a look at a little bit of stagnant water. Why not? No, that's not it. Wilderness, greenery, stairs. So this little uh, plaza here with these arches is where, um, remember the production of what happened in King's Landing when Ned was beheaded and Arya met the um, actress who was playing Cersei, I think it was. Um, yeah, that happened right here. And actually they CGI'd a river into that place there, when in reality it's just a load of green sludge or grass, as you would have just seen. So we're about to go into the Arabic baths, which is where uh, Arya films one of the scenes with the wave. And then all of these little cobbledy streets in a minute are where a load of the fight scenes happened and the market and stuff. So let's take a little peek. So a little check-in from me and my melting mascara. Um, it's good so far, it's really hot here today, um, but the kind of route we're following is pretty good. We took a wrong turn at one point, which is to be expected. Um, but we're about to go to the bit which I've been most looking forward to now, which is the Sept of Baelor, which is actually the cathedral here in Girona. Um, and we're about to go through this massive archway that I'll show you. Sorry, I've got really dry contact lens, hence why I'm blinking erratically. Maybe I'm Arya, about to go blind, who knows? Do you think I'm about to go blind, Lou? <laughs> hope not. I hope not too. That would be a very sorry state of affairs. Um, but yeah, we're about to go underneath the archway and then um, up to all the 90 stairs, which is where Jamie Lannister rode the horse up to stop um, Marjorie's Walk of Atonement. So, looking forward to it. You're hyped? Yeah. Are you on the hype train? Yeah. How many stops to go before the hype train reaches its destination? Five. Five. It's a made up number that really, isn't it? Yeah. You enjoying yourself so yeah, far? Yeah, it's a nice place actually. I like it. It's very picturesque, you know? It's very picturesque. Um, okay, so let's go. So we've got our own uh, Sir Jamie Lannister in the form of Lee. Charging it, Lee, pretend to ride a horse, please. <laughs> Gallop all the way up. Um, we're about to go see the steps, which is pretty cool. If I round you around this corner here, yeah, this will be tourist city. Good luck getting a photo here. Oh yeah, it's not too busy. Um, so this is the surrounding area. Oh my God, <laughs> it looks insane. Sorry, I'm not even showing it. Look at that. I'll take a better camera angling. angle, a better camera angle. So this is it from a distance. And uh, Jamie Lannister's stunt double, actually, or Nikolai Costa Wilder's stunt double, I should say, actually trained a horse to run up all of these 90 stairs, which is pretty impressive. Although I feel bad for the sorry poor little horse. What do you think, Lee? Ready to stop the High Sparrow? Ready no. to stop all religion? Yes. Yes, he is. Look at it, it's so beautiful. Look at the detail. Um, so I've decided to sit on this thing here, not that, awkward, uh, and try for a photo. Uh, but it's so bright, I think it's a little bit shadowy, um, but we'll see. Lee's found a patch of shade. So we're sat on the stairs, chilling out. I, sm I smell atonement. Do you smell atonement, Lee? Huh? Do you smell atonement? Ha! <laughs> For your yeah. sins? No, actually no. No, he doesn't. Never feel bad. Salt him. Jevil! <laughs> um, it's really hot. I've said that before. Um, but yeah, we're going to sit and chill for a minute. Maybe make a little detour to go get a drink. There's like a nice little outdoor cafe down there. Um, and then what's next, remember? Uh, is there another? Oh yeah, there's a King's Landing. No, it's something behind oh, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. The street where she was blind or whatever. Oh yes, yeah, so we're going to go do that the marketplace. Yeah. Um, and then maybe get a drink before or after. The world's our oyster. 
The world's uphill. Who knows? So, a uh, quick Insta poll, everyone. He's complaining about the heat. Nothing new there. And I've told him he's, he needs to stop wearing navy and black on top because he does it all the time. He's just told me that navy does not uh, uh, kind of attract heat. It's only black that does that. Please, please agree with me here and tell me and tell him how wrong he is. Wear light to Carlos Lee. Wear light to Carlos Lee. Look at him. Kicking off about the heat. Uh, so we've decided not to go inside. Um, it's really beautiful and it's not exploded, which is brilliant. Um, as if it had exploded in real life, you wouldn't be able to see it. Um, but we're off now to go see where the Waif and Aya had their first fight scene, which is quite cool. Um, and uh, what else is found there? Oh, the, the stairs where Aya sat blind and begging. Um, so let's go check it out. This is where Aya sat begging. Uh, for money, uh, probably food, whilst also being a bit blind. Um, not ideal. Got a uh, extra dark vegan chocolate ice cream, which I hear is uh, Cersei's favourite flavour. Um, don't quote me on that. Uh, so we're on the bridge that uh, Mr. Gustav Eiffel great name, uh, designed before he designed the Eiffel Tower, which is pretty cool. It's red, it's crisscross. Nice job. What do you think, Lee? It's alright. It's alright. Better than the Eiffel Tower, isn't it? Better than the Eiffel Tower. Ooh, controversial, unpopular opinion. Quick, quick, the wave's coming. Run, run. Uh, that was a cheesy, cheesy dad thing to do. So these are the stairs where Arya runs from the wave. Um, and they're pretty high, pretty long, so we're getting our cardio in today. So we've come to this little cute cafe, um, which I'm pretty sure um, I heard was Daenerys' favourite place to grab a cupcake. Uh, unfortunately, there was no vegan ones, so I just got a water, so that's it. Um, but yeah, we're off to see the final stop in a minute, which are the stairs where Arya falls over a master cart, the head goes into some oranges, so um, should be good. Uh, yeah, what's your favourite part so far, Lee? Uh. <laughs> what's your favourite part so far? Uh. Cathedral for me. Yeah, the cathedral. I think that was the most like recognizable yeah, in right. Game of Thrones. Like some of the other ones looked a bit like, well, I can kind of see how it was there with CGI, but the cathedral was actually pretty mind blowing. Um, so yeah, let's continue. As you can see here, we found the Iron Throne. Um, I'm very excited to sit on it. Um, as you can see, it's definitely gone from the show. Uh, and yeah, Iron Throne. In all honesty, obviously, it's clearly, clearly not the Iron Throne. Uh, we saw one down there. It was like a pay something euros to have your picture taken on it with your own camera but we've already had our photo taken on two separate iron thrones uh, so i wasn't really that fussed to be honest and the queue was kind of long um but yeah you know sit on any chair make any chair your own iron throne you know you're the boss of you do yourself right i'm talking rubbish um so these are the stairs where um are you i think she jumps from some sort of bridge and she rolls down these and rolls into a load of oranges. It doesn't really look like how I remembered, but it is the right place. I've seen the clip and everything, but it's very cute nonetheless. A little bit of greenery, a few tables, which I'm pretty sure weren't here in the episode of Game of Thrones. But you know, everybody needs a pit stop. So we are on the bus now heading back to Sagaro, uh, which is where we are staying. Um, and yes, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this Game of Thrones Girona vlog. We had a great time. We're now hot, sweaty, tired. I have dry contact lenses, but my soul is full of Game of Thrones knowledge, fun and delight. Um, so like the set of Baylor, I will explode off now into the land of sitting on a coach. Doesn't make any sense. And bitchy you. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for watching and goodbye.